Why is the Russia's A-235PL-19 Nudal anti-ballistic and anti-space missile so extremely fast? On December 1, 2022, a new test of Russia's A-235PL-19 Nudal anti-ballistic and anti-space missile, which can be armed with nuclear warheads, was conducted. This monstrous missile is responsible for defending Moscow and key industrial areas against nuclear attacks, satellites, hypersonic weapons and orbital hypersonic warfares. The remarkable thing about this massive missile is the acceleration and therefore the breathtaking hypersonic speed, Mach 10, of this two-stage solid-fuel missile in less than a few seconds. This tremendous speed is due to the use of solid propellants with high energy density. The use of propellants, fine aluminium, with particles on the order of one or a few micrometers, the use of materials called nanothermites, which are produced on a nanometer scale and massively accelerate the combustion process, these materials are also used in Iranian ballistic missiles, and finally the length of the missile, which means, the longer it is, the higher the thrust. The shape of the propellant grain, for example, in the form of a star, which provides the largest surface area for propellant combustion at the beginning of the thrust phase, also plays an important role. For the reasons mentioned above, the rate of combustion of the fuel in the engine chamber increases, and so does the thrust generated. As a result, a dizzying acceleration is achieved in a fraction of a second. In addition, a composite body and engine, as well as good aerodynamics and a lightweight warhead, or without any high explosives in the warhead, meaning direct impact or kinetic interception of the target, help increase the Nudal's acceleration. On November 15, 2021, the A-235 successfully shot down a Russian satellite in Earth orbit, which put a lot of pressure on the Americans and caused hundreds of fragments in Earth orbit up to an altitude of 1,500 kilometers. This anti-ballistic missile system was also tested on April 15, 2020 at the Plesetsk Cosmodrome, on the former launch site of the Cyclone 2 rocket. Thanks and see you next time.